the Republican Party to white supremacism and the Second Amendment to it. That's why they're pushing for violence and preparing real false flags, not just guys dressed up like white nationalists to discredit the Republican gubernatorial candidate in Virginia. But violence, my friends. And that's so if you go to a black church or you go to a you know rural, say black grocery store, you better be packing. You better be watching. Because let me tell you, the deep states are coming. With breaking news out of Buffalo, New York, where at least seven people have been shot and killed in a mass shooting at a Topps grocery store. Another person is reportedly in critical condition. Here is what else we know as of right now. Police and emergency responders are on the scene. Buffalo, uh, Buffalo PD says the shooter is in custody. New York Governor Kathy Hochul said she is monitoring the situation and is asking people to avoid the area. Early disturbing video from the scene shows what appears to be someone apprehended by police while possible victim lays nearby. Officials said 11 of the 13 people struck by gunfire were black and that the attack would be investigated both as a hate crime and an act of racially motivated violent extremism under federal law. Twitch said in a statement that it removed the live stream of the attack less than two minutes after it started and was working to ensure no other accounts reposted the content. Speaking at the suspect's arraignment on Saturday, New York Governor Kathy Hochul said such live streams were responsible for a feeding frenzy of violent extremist ideology. She also pledged to introduce previously planned gun control legislation on Tuesday to address loopholes in state laws. Replacement theory is the idea that uh, or white populations, both in North America, here in, in the USA, and in Europe, are being replaced by minority populations, largely through immigration. They're going to attack a minority church or college or grocery store, some type of minority gathering. Church or college or a grocery store, some type of minority gathering. I've been telling you one story since we first came on the air, and it was about this man here, Grady Lewis. You were in that tops earlier this afternoon. We're going to get to that story. Uh, but you told me just a few moments ago that you actually spoke with the suspect yesterday, he was here. Tell me more about that. Um, I seen him and he looked strange in the neighborhood. But he had a genius shirt on. So I wanted to see if he was a genius. And we sat and talked about stream theory, critical race theory, uh, the beginning of civilization. And so I wanted to see if he was a genius. And we sat and talked about stream theory, critical race theory, uh, the beginning of civilization. And in Buffalo, here's how one man described the attack. When I saw, I just left out the store, and I stopped here, and I started to drink my juice, and I heard a gunshot that I knew was a gunshot and not a firecracker. So I looked up, and I seen smoke. He looked it out of place, not because he was white. It's just the feeling I had about him and intuition. Um, that's definitely energy that, that made me say, well, let me talk to this guy and not talk. White. It's just the feeling I had about him and intuition. Um, that's definitely energy that, that made me say, well, let me talk to this guy. And I talked to him for like an hour and 45 minutes and I actually even bought him something to drink because he did seem a little nervous. To see the countryside and um, he was going to go out camping. He bought a, a big thing, a jug of water. He had a little nervous twitch to him. I bought him something to drink, and we sat and talked about an hour and 45 minutes after seeing the pictures and seeing the blue card that I seen him get, got into um, yesterday. So it's a shock right now, and he told me his name was Peyton. Um, 
So it's a shock. And we did see a blue car get taken away from yeah. this scene just about a half hour or so ago. And you were saying that you were speaking with him on a bench that's located outside of this tops. Yes. That's the bench that earlier today, when I first got here, or you were the first person I spoke to, you were telling me that bench is your office. Yes. And you usually like to stop and sit there and talk yes. to people that are passing by. Today, you didn't stop. Yes. I spoke to you, you were telling me that bench is your office. Yes. And you usually like to stop and sit there and talk yes. to people that are passing by. Today, you didn't stop. Yes. Well, I went in there and got me some um, a juice, and um, I didn't want to sit there today, so I walked across the street and I opened up my, my my juice. And as I opened up my juice, I heard what I knew wasn't a firecracker. And I looked up and I seen a guy shooting people. Then I seen a security guard run inside, and then I seen him going after him shooting and I saw him come back out and, and I, he had all kind of flodge on and glasses and helmet and then he put the gun to his head and he dropped it he took off his gloves he took off um, something um, his gun he put it down he took off his vest and then um, he got on his knees and laid down and put his hands behind his back and they, uh, they arrested him at that point and the other thing I wanted to talk to you about, you were telling me about the security guard, the former Buffalo police officer who has tragically died in this incident.
I went into the uh, Buffalo News Academy. Okay. And then what, what's, what spurred your interest, Aaron, uh, if I may ask, in, in uh, hydrogen, uh, electrolysis uh, systems for what you What spurred that interest? That's the first, is that the first project you ever had with uh, of this sort? No, I, I always, uh, the guy used to laugh at me. I had built a solar collector uh, where I collected solar rays and, and, and uh, would heat my house. And uh, a lot of guys uh, uh, showed interest in uh, me doing that. Uh, but in approximately 2011, gas prices had went up to what, like $5 a gallon. Correct, that is correct. And uh, so uh, I went on the internet and I started looking uh, uh, some alternative energy sources. Electrolysis, you got your batteries, your water. I want you to notice that you can get a shot of showers. There's there's no water in the Okay. Tank is empty. This is a agitator. Uh, so we're gonna do four experiments today uh, for the patent examiners. The first one, um, you do need electrolysis, but what my system has done is taken advantage of the residue that's produced by the electrolysis. So we're gonna actually start this vehicle without any electrolysis. The second one, we're going to fill the water tank with water. And again, we're gonna be able to start it without electrolysis and run this engine. How long, we'll, we'll find out. Then we're gonna turn the hydrogen generator on and we're gonna let that produce some gas, and then we're going to um, see how long the engine runs with the hydrogen only. And then the fourth one, we're going to use the combination of the hydrogen generator, the agitator, and we're gonna see how long it, it runs together, okay? So, First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start the engine up on gas first. Um, and I'm gonna initiate the uh, agitator. And then uh, we're gonna go to the front and we're gonna switch the gas, hydrogen gas on and the regular fuel off, okay? I'm gonna pause for a second. Go ahead. I'm just gonna just gonna start it.